Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, trap it! Woo! What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to PE with Coach Wood. Today, we're gonna to be starting an awesome unit on soccer, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what I need you to do. Grab yourself a ball so we can get started. Notice the ball I have, an awesome Kids Heart Challenge ball from the American Heart Association. It doesn't have to be a soccer ball, just a ball I can use, okay? So, today we are going to be dribbling. Everyone say dribble, dribble, dribble. We are gonna be dribbling, and first, for teachers, this is what you need to do. When you teach a soccer unit, or even a basketball unit, or a unit that you use equipment, first thing you need to do is model and show the kids what to do when they are using it and when, they, when you need their attention while they're using it. So, with soccer, once I give the kids the ball, what I tell them, we're done using our hands. What I need you to do to stop the ball, to control the ball, is to trap it. I say, trap, trap, trap. So, what I show them to do, the first thing when we do a soccer unit, is, hey, when we're playing a game, when we're warming up, and you have a soccer ball, and you hear me say, trap, 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 this is exactly what I need you to do, as quick as you can. Because if I don't set that, then all the kids, it's gonna go crazy. Pandemonium, I'm trying to get their attention, soccer ball's flying all over the place. I'm dodging them like it's the Matrix. Crazy, don't do that. Be sure, tell them the rules, tell them what they need to do, so they understand before they get the soccer ball or the piece of equipment, whatever you're doing. So, that being said, the first thing I teach the kids to do to control the soccer ball, to stop the soccer ball, since I can't go down and pick it up with my hands, is I stop it with my foot. I trap it with my foot, all right? So, I say trap, trap, trap. And then what I do is I show them quickly, hey, this is how we dribble a soccer ball. In basketball, you dribble by balancing the ball with your hand. In soccer, remember, I said it already, we can't use our hands. So what you're gonna do is with the inside of your feet, I make them tap the inside of their feet or the outside of their feet, because that's what we're gonna use to control the ball. And what you're gonna do is when you control the ball, it's close enough where I can easily get to it trap it and do what I want with the ball. If I kick the ball as hard as I can and it goes all the way over there and I can't run and catch it, that's not dribbling the ball. Dribbling the ball is I want to be able to control it, move it, tell it where I want it to go, all right? So, using the inside and outside parts of my foot, feet, there we go, all right? I move the ball around just like this. And I tell them, in just a minute, I'm gonna let you do this around the gym, get used to it, get used to dribbling, all right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it into a game. So when I give you your soccer ball and you start dribbling, every time you hear me say, trap, 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 you're going to trap as quick as you can because we're going to practice to see who's listening, ladies and gentlemen. And then they go, yeah! So they all get a soccer ball, and the first game we play is trap, trap, trap. So they go around dribble, 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 trap, trap, trap. I trap it. Perfect. Keep playing the music. They keep going around dribbling, okay? At this point, you're looking around. You're making sure that kids are understanding dribbling. You're gonna have kids that are kicking it as far as they can and running to go get it. Remember, it's all about control, all about control. So those are usually the kids that go around and help. You'll also see kids hitting it with their, uh, hitting it, kicking it with their toes. Be sure to go up to them and say, hey, inside of your foot. And I usually at this point, I'm also dribbling around as well so kids can see me do it as well. So, that's the first game, trap, trap, trap. Second game you can play, it's called pop the dot. Get all the poly dots you have, throw them all over the gym. On go, kids are gonna go around, dribble to a dot, trap it on the dot, and then do three ball taps. One, two, three. Once they do that, boom! Pop dot, I almost said pop. Dot is popped, and then they go to another one. You can do a time limit on this, you can do like, three, four, five minutes, depending on how many poly dots you have, uh, and see how many, how many dots uh, they can pop, all right? If they pop all the dots, then they can start over. So if I pop that dot, I can't come pop it again until I pop all the other dots, okay? That's called pop the dot. Last game, one of my favorite games, and I usually save it for the end of class, it's called Soccer Monster. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get a bunch of cones, and you're gonna make a big circle in the middle of the gym. And I usually start off as the monster. The monster is standing in the middle of the circle. All right? And what's gonna happen is the monster doesn't want any of the soccer balls, any of the balls inside his circle. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna take the ball and he's going to go and kick it out of the circle. All right? Everyone else, they're on the outside of the circle. What they wanna do, you probably guessed it, they want all the balls inside the monster's circle. So what's going to happen is when the monster kicks the balls out, they're going to run, get it, 
and they're going to dribble it and trap it inside the circle. And it's a continuous cycle where they're running, getting the ball, trapping it, and then bringing it back in and trapping it into the monster's circle. Usually I do this timed. I do each round maybe 45 seconds. And if you have time, you can give as many kids uh, as turns as possible. If you want to make it 30 seconds around so every kid can do it, that's awesome as well. Totally up to you, but the kids love it. How I score it is whoever, whatever monster has the least amount of soccer balls in his circle is the winner. So if I, I always tell my kids, if I have five soccer balls in the circle and someone else had 10, who won? The kid who had the least, which is five. Because sometimes kids think, well, the more points I have, that means I have to win. Not in all games, golf. There we go. So, that being said, that is soccer monsters. And to start the game off, I usually have uh, soccer balls spread out all in the gym, and then I have a handful, let's say maybe five, in the monster circle to start off with. So it's not like everyone's starting off with a soccer ball. So I have soccer balls spread out all over the gym. So when I say go, kids start running to go get them, so it gives the monster an opportunity not to get overwhelmed all at once with all these soccer balls coming in. So, ladies and gentlemen, those are my three games. Trap, 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 pop the dot, soccer monsters. Teach those kids how to dribble. You guys rock. Peace.